So here they are side to side. Um, you can definitely tell the Edelbrock ports are opened up a little bit more. Um, the floor of the port, which I have these heads upside down, uh, it gets, it's a lot thicker and that's more of a steep angle there. So if you looked at the slope of that versus the slope of this, um, the actual angle between that and that uh, is opened up some. So they raised those floors up compared to the stock ones. Hopefully you can see that. And I was just gonna take my, take my pair of calipers and get that thickness. So measuring this thickness, uh, the center wall thickness, I know they went ahead and, and just kind of did a quick gasket match deal with their machine or something. I'm going to port these more than they are right now, but I'm just trying to show you apples to apples here. Uh, maybe I forgot to write it down. I was going to do intake cross section here. Um, so that dimension by that dimension on both. Uh, the actual thickness of that center divider wall, which I'll go in past where they cut right there because that's just kind of a just kind of a little cheat spot really um i mean it's nice that it's gasket matched whatever but in my mind it would be would have been a lot better if they kept cutting and going making everything nice and um equal there uh exhaust cross section i'll flip them over and get that for you spring diameters uh this is something to keep in mind the stock spring diameters are going to be pretty small um, I'll check that in a second. And usually, if you uh, want to go, you know, with a higher lift cam, you got to get those pockets cut in there. Uh, there's a good ISKI article on that, but they mention it. These are stock unmolested 915s. Um, I got from my friend Brian a while back. We did some trading, but um, these are a lot larger spring, so they'll they'll be easier to upgrade. Uh, definitely better valves and stuff. Uh, the floor thickness, I already mentioned that, and then the center wall thickness. So just some basic information. I don't have the tool today to take these heads apart. I'm going to do that with Ed at his shop um, when we go to work on the heads. But And I'll film that for you. Let me get these dimensions all down, and we'll come back and talk about it a second. So here's one of those perfect examples of the size of your porting does not always dictate the amount of flow of the head. So keep in mind, if these heads were hogged out and opened up to a three inch pipe size, in theory, it has more capability of flowing than a two and a half inch pipe, but it may not have as much velocity. I know we talk about velocity a lot and some people are for it and against it or whatever, but I went ahead Remember I told you those floors are moved up. I measured into here. So that's about a uh, half inch on the bottom. That's what I was trying to do, going about a half inch. If you look at the stock 915 head, this goes on forever and ever and ever and ever. I mean, it way into the head there. So apples to apples, if I was that same half inch, that's, that's the amount of difference in these port sizes. So don't don't think that just because you're hogging, going hog wild on your ports, <laughs> I'm certain that these Edelbrock heads will outflow that stock 915 head, and I'll try to find a chart on that from Hughes or somewhere. It's out there. Um, you, can, you can make 915 heads flow really, really well, but I think at the end of the day, um, if you spent the same amount of time on both these sets of heads, the Edelbrocks would probably outflow them. That's just my opinion. But I wanted to stop and show you that. I'm going to finish getting these numbers down real quick. And another fun one to measure here, uh, that center divider, if I'm looking at these heads straight on, I'll even bring my light in. I would absolutely tell you that I believe the Edelbrock has a thinner center divider compared to that big one there well let's have a look 915 if i can work it in there again there it is 915 so 
I'll show you one more time. There it is. Check that out. Nope. So here's those numbers. Uh, nothing too exciting or surprising, really. Uh, the Edelbrock's intake cross section. Uh, I just multiplied the two numbers length by width. It's 202 versus 227. So the Mopar 915s actually um, have a larger inlet at their most restrictive point there, uh, about, a, about a half inch inside of the port. Uh, exhaust, the Edelbrock's, I don't know if I showed you those. The Edelbrock uh, outlet there is slightly larger at 1.88 versus 1.67 uh, spring diameter that's pretty obvious uh, 1395 so that might may even be one 1.4 or 1400 and then versus 1545 so inch and a half spring um, then the keepers uh, 14985 versus 13360. Uh, floor thickness, I forgot to measure that. Let me flip it over. I'm gonna try to keep the bottom jaw flushed with the floor. Go all the way in until my machine touches and then just close it up until it touches the bottom of the port. There it is. So, again, flush on the bottom, bumped up against the side rail there. You see that thickness? 0.758. So they do raise the floor significantly. A lot of this stuff may just be trivial to you, but I don't know. I thought it was an interesting comparison. Uh, you can kind of see the different design of the Edelbrocks. See the current situation with the casting flaws and stuff. Um, I'm sure 10 years ago, Edelbrock heads were a little different. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, I appreciate y'all watching and I'll catch you next time.